Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi I'm Lydia and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the growing family while you're there turn on notifications and hit the like button. I'm doing a ask answering frequently asked questions about bipolar one. The first question I've got is what does it feel? What does bipolar one feel like? So bipolar one, you have to be manic and you have depressive episodes, and you have middle middle ground. Living between two extremes is incredibly hard, and often or not, it's something that seems impossible. Because you don't know when a manic episode is going to hit. You don't know when a depressive episode is going to hit. And you're living life on these extremes. When you're manic, everything feels great. If you feel on top of the world. You're doing stuff, you're getting up at 5 a.m. You're rushing off, doing work. You get so much done. You spend a lot of money. You feel incredible until you crash and that's when the depression hits them. so living with it is very hard because you want to avoid the extremes I'm currently medicated for my bipolar I take haloperidol vortioxine lithium what coping skills do you use to manage mood swings? so to manage mood swings I I want to make it clear, bipolar isn't swinging from one extreme to the other really quickly, that's BPD. BPD is intense emotion swinging. Bipolar is slow, so you have the mania, the depression, and it fluctuates along a line. To the, so you're not always happy and you're not always sad, you, you, there is a baseline. So the coping skills that I use are I take medication every day, twice a day. I have a routine. I stay in contact with my psychiatrist, keep a mood journal, and I use DBT skills. The next question is, do you get psychosis in manic phases? Yes, I do. I get delusions, I get hallucinations, I get both, along with being manic, which is when the mania gets dangerous, really, when psychosis comes into it. When psychosis comes into it, you are no longer just happily and up and elated. You're believing things that aren't real. You're convinced people are after you. You're convinced no one knows what you know. You're convinced that you are the only one who can save the world. What's the main symptom you experience? For me, the main symptom I experience is hearing voices and then feeling suicidal. I have more depressive episodes than I have manic episodes. The next question is, which is worse, being manic or depressed? Depressed, for sure. When I'm manic, I get so much done. Depression is worse because you do in cases where you do nothing. Getting out of bed is too hard. Brushing your teeth is too hard. Brushing your hair is too hard. Going to get food is effort that you don't have. Depression is such a horrible thing. When I'm in depressive episodes, I don't eat, I don't sleep, I can't do anything. The next question is downsides of being manic. And as a side room. Would you get killed on a different street? Please? So the downsides of being manic. You spend a lot of money. You're impulsive. Breakdown in the relationship. Committing to too much. Taking on too many projects. That's just a handful of things that are the ne negatives of being manic. What's your worst manic episode? The worst manic episode I've ever had was the first one I ever had and I was 13 years old. I was manic and I was psychotic. I was convinced that the government was after me. Fuck off with the sirens! 
I'd just taken on board so many projects to do. I was not in a good frame of mind. I took on loads of projects. I, I tried to get, get adult commitments. I thought I could do anything I wanted. The first one was what got me diagnosed. That's why I failed at type 1. It took one session with a psychiatrist to get a diagnosis because I was so I was talking so fast and jumping from one subject to the next to the next to the next, moving through things like it made sense, even though it didn't make sense. I wasn't I wasn't coherent. It just wasn't a good situation, and I was hospitalised for it, but. That was by far the worst I ever had. Next question is, are you always manic or depressed or do you, can you have a baseline? I said this earlier, there's mania, depression, mid-ground. So there, there definitely is a mid-ground that you can be on, stable mid-ground, especially with medication. The medication I'm on keeps me very stable. I, I am on baseline at the minute, I'm not manic and I'm not depressed. My most recent episode was a depressive episode where it had me hospitalised. The depressive episodes are really dark and difficult to deal with, but so is mania. Mania is really hard to deal with because you don't believe you're manic, you just think you're doing well, really well. Next question is, do you still experience hypomania as, say, a transition to mania as well as mania? No, I don't have hypomania. I only have mania. Hypomania, hypomania comes in with bipolar type 2. Then the last question is which type is that? Is it mainly mania or depression? It's mania and depression, yeah. With the baseline. How to include the baseline. And that is all the questions that I've got for this video. If you want to have a question to answered in a video follow me on instagram this is where i ask for all my questions and yeah thanks for watching and if you're new like i said at the beginning join the growing family we love you we want you here so why not hit the subscribe button yes i'm aware i've got pink all in my face i dyed my hair and it, it went everywhere oops